finally, tonight, AJ Styles is going to have to face a real man. You know, everybody knows anybody with a brain, which means most of you not being one, knows that Onyx is the true rookie of the year. And tonight, he's going to prove it by bringing me my TV title. You know, AJ Styles, I know that you're far more concerned about when your next issue of Mandate, Honcho, and Inches is coming and the Crisco party you and Chance Williams are going to tonight. But I'll tell you this, Onyx is single-minded. You see, Onyx grew up in the mean streets of New York. So beating you is just like another day in the hood for him. Onyx! A man blacker than South Atlanta and ten times as dangerous is going to put you down one, two, three, AJ Styles. And that TV title's coming back to me. And when we leave tonight and we're up top at the Marriott Marquis on our Florida Suites, the first thing I'm going to do to celebrate is eat candy box. I mean a box of candy. And we're going to party all night long celebrating our victory. So come on down, send the lamb to the slaughter. Troubling. My God, I gotta agree with him on that. It's Onyx goes for the ride. Big high hip toss. And Onyx up and over on the arm drag. AJ Styles turns around and just cold cocks him in the side of the head. Onyx powder to the outside. And now Jeff, look at the change in Onyx already since he's been hanging around Jeff G. Bailey. Yeah, it's a change for the better if you ask me. But I want to bring up a point we brought up last week with speaking of rookies. Onyx, up until recently. Did you ever give him a title shot? No, you didn't. Jeff G signs with Jeff G Bailey. Boom, he's got a shot at the television title here in Wildside. Jeff G Bailey is the man that makes things happen. He is the manager of the Wildside heavyweight champion. He is the manager of the United States champion. And in the next five minutes, I guarantee he will be the manager of the Wildside television champion onyx i'm not going to take nothing away from onyx this guy is put together and he is one hell of an athlete former uh college football player canadian football league he's done it all but now he is in alliance with jeff g bailey and that spelled a whole different story because this right here is nothing but trouble for onyx because i promise you this he is not Rookie of the Year. AJ Styles beat him fair and square for that honor, along with Jorge Estrada. Onyx should have been Rookie of the Year. I was talking with Jeff G. Bailey in the back during the last break, and he said the reason that Onyx was not Rookie of the Year was because that you guys are biased racially. 
It was a racially motivated decision to give you a little fair-haired boy AJ Styles that award. Now, please, don't start that, too. Jeff G. Bailey's been calling me a racist since day one, and it can't be further from the truth. The truth we got hurt. a world Listen. heavyweight title holder that's a black man named Ruckus. But the only reason he got that title was because of Jeff G. Bailey. It had nothing to do with you, Steve. I don't know, fans. All I can tell you is it's 100% a lie. There we go. Big atomic drop on AJ Styles. And I'll say this in my own defense. Anybody will tell you that's in pro wrestling that I push, so to speak, the guys who deserve it. AJ Styles up and over on that step. My God. Going for a splash. Onyx moved out of the way. And the momentum of AJ Styles carried him up over the top rope. And then he fell down the steps. So not only taking the impact on the face, but also on the back as he went down the steps to the floor below. Onyx all over AJ Styles like a bad dream. And Onyx going to work over Styles on the camera stand. And like you said, you're talking about a nasty spill all the way down the steps. Smart uh, thinking by Onyx rolled back into the ring to help to break up the count. He doesn't want to win this by count out because he won't get the title. Titles won't change hands on count out. He needs to pin AJ Styles or make him submit in the middle of the ring. Onyx up and over. Onyx all the way into the audience in the floor. Some fan caught him on the way down. And these are the side guys of Wildside, and they're 100% NWA. So they're going to help out Onyx and Jeff G. Bailey and his thugs at ringside. But look who's standing tall, AJ Styles. Rookie of the year right here on Wildside. I will say one thing. The crowd here in Cornelia goes absolutely gaga over AJ Styles. I would definitely say one of the most popular athletes ever to step foot in this arena. But being popular doesn't make you the best. Well, you know, Styles is a 100% uh, Christian in and out of the ring. This guy right here, you're talking about a role model fan. Kids, if you're going to look up to a man, AJ Styles is the man to do it. Do not think Jeff G. Bailey is your friend at all because he will stab you in the back and not think twice about it. Onyx just slapped him and then threw him up in the air as AJ Styles comes down hard on that mat. Yeah, that shows you what that Christianity will do for you. Nothing when it's him when you get in the wrestling ring. Come on, Al. Here we go as Onyx going to put AJ over that second row. Keep your eye on Bailey in this situation. Come on, Bailey. He just hit AJ Styles with his $279 Bruno Molly shoe. How many times have we heard that? And he says he's got a 600 pair of Gucci shoes on the way. So I'm going to tell you something. Jeff G. Bailey means business, and he's making one hell of a paycheck here on Wildside, and he better remember who writes that paycheck. I mean, can you imagine if he manages all three single champs here in Wildside, how much more money that will be worth to his empire, to his stable? AJ coming back, the beautiful high drop to great elevation. Styles is unbelievable. He really is. He is one of the greatest athletes in NCW. He's one of the greatest athletes in the NWA as far as I'm concerned. And he's been in the straight sport for one year. Rookie of the year. And here we go. Keep your eye on Styles. Big springboard moonsault on Onyx. Yeah, but look at that. He got so carried away that the majority of his momentum took him over Onyx and he barely grazed Onyx with his hands. If he hadn't been so hyper and flipping around like a nut, he actually could have gotten more out of that move and maybe could have gotten the pin right there. Now, did you see the example of the collegiate background? AJ Styles got two-time state champion at Johnson High as he hooked him into that pinfall combination. It was great right here on Wildside. I mean, you've got not only a two very well-schooled college athletes, AJ Styles in wrestling and Onyx in football, plus, of course, AJ Styles is a cheerleader. Of course, that is a sport. I don't know what that is. Here we go. Styles for the ride into that turnbuckle. Onyx, oh, hard into that midsection. And wrestling fans, whatever you do, stay tuned. The wild side has bad attitude. Takes on six-time NWA Tag Team Champions, the Rock and Roll Express. Unbelievable. Those tag team titles on the line. We could see two titles change hands this week on Wildside. Incredible. And it's 
as great as it is to watch us here each and every week on television, there is nothing like coming out live to the NCW Arena in Cornelia. We're going to be here on March the 18th and Bailey stomping a mud hole doing a yeah, little Yeah, I shit. know she talked right over that where you, oh, come on, you and Bailey is thick as thieves and you know it. I, I don't deny that we're very tight. I mean, you know, he always comes to me for advice. Yeah, you, you and him make a good cheer section for each other. Hey, he's always asking me every time I give a good interview, he wants to steal my lines. Well, he's got plenty of them indeed. And some of them, let me tell you this, not over my head as far as the education goes, but over my head as far as just pure film. All the things he talks about is me and AJ Styles, and man, we're just close. Uh, come on. Two count only right here on Wild Side. Wait but he's second. all the time talking about this film, and I don't even have a clue what he's talking about. You know what? During the very first match, you were talking about Romeo Bliss and freedom of speech this, freedom of speech that. If you believe that Romeo should say what he wants, then Jeff G. Bailey has the right to say whatever he wants. And there's nothing you can do about it, or else I'll call you a hypocrite. Oh, no one home. Going for the Centon bomb and nobody at home. And that's the second one we've seen here at this television taping. Unbelievable agility by Onyx. Onyx, one hell of an athlete. We're not going to take nothing away from him. Reverse neck breaker by Styles. And here comes Bailey up on the ring apron. Keep your eye on him at all times. Uh-oh, AJ going up to the top now. This is it. You know what we're going to see here is that shooting star. No, somersault, 450. And here comes Eddie Golden. Eddie Golden going to pull the referee out. Come on, Golden. Eddie Golden pulling Jamie Tucker out. And now Jeff C. Bailey getting in the ring. I think Styles had He just cold cock Styles. And now Bailey. Now we got three on one, Dan. Come on. AJ Styles in trouble now. That's what happens when you mess with Jeff G. Bailey, Honest, and Eddie Golden going to town on AJ Styles. And Bailey loves every minute of it. Here comes Jorge Estrada. And thank God somebody was watching from the back. The tag team partner of AJ Styles, known as the future. So we got Styles and Golden, Jorge and Onyx. And we got a little tag team action going here. Well, they've paired off now. Estrada going to work on Onyx while AJ Styles still down and getting kicked by Ed Golden. Jorge Estrada, Onyx, and AJ Styles was all up for Rookie of the Year. Ed Golden's pass speaks for itself. This guy is championship material. Come on, Bailey! Look at Bailey going to work on the Rookie of the Year, AJ Styles. And now they got Estrada down. It's a double team on Estrada. Serves him right for sticking his nose where it don't belong. Here we go, Jorge. Double team, full ride, just the clothesline. Double clothesline of his own. The future is here, and it's Jorge Estrada in AJ Styles. Golden up for the big backdrop. Finally slamming Ed Golden, and now another slam on Onyx. And AJ back up on his feet. Man, I tell you what, you talking about all hell breaking loose on this edition of Wild Side, and we still got rock and roll and bad attitude coming up next. Oh, double drop kick, pair of drop kicks by Estrada and Styles. The future stands tall in the ring while Bailey's men regroup on the floor. Wrestling fans, you gotta love this as Jorge Estrada and AJ Styles are standing strong in the center of the NCW arena. Wrestling fans, this action takes place the first and third Saturday of every month. Whatever you do, don't miss it. Coming up Saturday night, March 4th. Rock and Roll Express and Bad Attitude coming up next.